So our funding was from the Eastern Tallgrass Prairies and Big Rivers LCC and SSP, which is a USGS Fish and Wildlife Service partnership. And we had support from Glacial Ridge and Neil Smith staff, and Deb Buell provided statistical assistance. Thank you, and if you have any questions, I'm happy to um, direct them to somebody who can answer. <laughs> <laughs> I assume that planting methods and seeding rates are also being explored. Can, can you repeat the question into the mic? I assume that planting methods and seeding rates are also being explored. To the extent that they've been recorded in the past, yes. So planting methods, I'm, I'm like 100% sure we're going to know how things were planted. Um, seeding rate will be dependent on what the stations actually recorded. So I think when you purchase seed, it's one thing you definitely have a seeding, um, a seeding rate. When you've got combine seeds, I don't know, um, Pauline, you probably know more about this than I do. Um, do you always know the rate of seed? So what Diane's talking about, and probably many of us are familiar with, is um, the, that kind of material that's been gathered by a, a, a combine or some other kind of machine, and it hasn't been cleaned down to pure seed. And it's not all. It's also not. Um, you, there's usually subsamples, or oftentimes subsampling done of those. Maybe you have a thousand pounds of this stuff, with a lot of inert material in it, and do a subsample, and you can get back a seed analysis about this. You know, 0.5 gram sample or whatever it is, or that uh, uh, some seed lab uses to give you an idea of what's in there. So it's not just total, total fiction. But it's really, it's really, um, it's pretty squishy number. So that's what Diane's talking about. There you don't have a, a, a real positive um, handle on what the seeding rate is, but you at least know that it was combined seed, and to the extent possible, we know how many pounds of stuff went down on the ground, and we know what that seed analysis gave us. Thanks, Pauline. Any other questions? Have any of you ever wondered? Have any of you ever wondered what the differences are? Have you ever thought that these are some of the kinds of, um, um, you know, that these kinds of things might have influenced the way your plantings were? Yes? Yeah. Anybody have any hunches about what was most important? Uh, 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 or, or the things that influenced your seeding to go one direction or another? Yes, <laughs> you don't get to answer, Scott, because you're going to talk about that pretty soon. I'm sure everyone has some ideas. I have ideas about what happens. Um, and so hopefully we can start teasing those things out. We, um, as, as a part of our, our um, planning team, one of the things that our plan, I'm shifting gears here, just so you know. One of the things that, that we were most uncomfortable about this day was that we didn't have time for you to interact with one another. It's one of the things that's really valuable about a meeting. We have the, um, uh, uh, the gift of having uh, some time right now because we have finished early and our food is, has not yet arrived and what I would suggest you do is get together and uh, you know have those conversations that you'd like to have the people that are in, together in this room right now will not be together probably ever again um, and certainly not in this topic we also want you to be able to the, the folks 